What's up everybody, that guy again, just driving home from the disc golf course. G'day everybody, where's Wally the Annoying Globe Tart here? Look, I'm sure there's a really good joke here about real men using round balls and not flat ones. I just can't think of it at the moment, it's too late and I'm too tired. If you've got one, throw it in the comments and we'll all have a chuckle at that guy. Until anybody can provide scientific evidence, unlike where's Wally, until you guys provide an argument that is physically demonstrated, like I have physically demonstrated everything I've said, you don't have a debate, you don't have an argument, you have nothing, you have denial. He thinks that doing an experiment is the only step you need to do, but it's really just step one, as we all know. Because then you have to analyse the data, and you have to conclude what that means, but you also, more importantly, need to allow your peers to review your conclusions, because that, my friends, is how science works. That guy's too afraid to do that. He's just sitting there hiding in Coward's Castle. Just tie a knot in it. That guy, here's a little bit of a reality check for you. All those thumbs up and thumbs downs, you know, the bits you don't actually have control over. I mean, you can block and delete as much as you want, but you can't control that part. That is the bit that's showing you your peer review status. And it's telling you you're getting it wrong. Just tie a knot in it. And it seems like the sound insulation on the walls of my recording studio has absorbed more information than that guy. So I'm basically done trying. Look, I know he will claim victory now, but he knows that's a fake win. And you want to know how I know that? Well, his subconscious told us. Have a listen. Anyways, just um, making a quick video, making a count on the uh, score here. It's still zero to three. It's a very Freudian moment. Now, I really did want that guy to understand how a compass needle actually aligns with field lines, rather than pointing to the poles of a magnet. I demonstrated that by showing a compass just two centimeters away from the North Pole of a magnet, but not pointing to the pole at all. That guy just simply told me to... Just tie a knot in it, and the Flat Earthers are winning the debate. I have a daytime full moon. I've modeled, proved it doesn't work on the globe model. Ah, uh, yeah, that was debunked, mate. Gradient of a gas or fluid with no container. Debunks the globe model. Yeah, that was debunked too. And finally, the compass measures magnetic declination, proving the flat earth as well. Oh yeah, unfortunately, that was also debunked. Three 100% scientifically demonstrated proofs versus a shit ton of ignorance and denial. And of course, your great claim is that you have proven that there is a gradient because there is a container, because there is a gradient, right? So what I'm going to need from you one day is to go and show me your container. I mean, us Globies, we don't even need a container, so we don't have anything to show. Plus, there isn't one. But you guys really have to start showing all the rest of the things that prove your claim, don't you? Just tie a knot in it. Globetards, listen. You're trying to prove the atmosphere has no container. And I will show him the atmosphere sticking to the outside of the globe Earth. Now have a look at that. Right up here from up high, you can easily see it. And do you notice how that atmosphere doesn't need a container when you have gravity that's holding it to the planet? You can see all of those little dog-piled columns of air side by side right the way around till they come back around the other side, can't you? Now just check out that line where you can see the top of the atmosphere in some places. How cool is that? I know what that guy's thinking, of course, eh? Just tie a knot in it. So that's it for that guy. He owes me an answer on about at least three or four or five videos so far, so I'm not going to bother making any more for him. He can just sit there and pretend he knows everything, but he clearly doesn't. Clearly doesn't have a clue about what's what. Just go and ask Danny Pratt. He'll hold your hand, mate. And so every time that guy ignores me or doesn't answer, or I just wonder, is that because it's all too hard, that guy? All the things that I'm bringing up, you just really haven't thought of an answer. You have to go and find those people who can tell you what to say. You know, if I wasn't scientific, I could claim victory or something like that. But of course, I would look for evidence being a person of science. I would say, well, show me the evidence that I've won. Let me hear you concede. But... Of course, you would just go ahead and make the claim regardless. You don't really need evidence for anything you think, because you're a flatty. Just tie a knot in it. You're checkmated. 
That's why it's been nothing but trolling and trolling and trolling. It's pathetic. So I delete comments that are trolls stuck on repeat. Or what about the argument that the atmosphere is more dense than the vacuum of space? <laughs> Test that. Put a vacuum in the atmosphere and open it up. What happens? Oh, the high pressure atmosphere moved into the low pressure vacuum? Well, there you have it. I guess it's not more dense. Pathetic.